It is happening. Signs of the last day's prophecies are happening just as Bible prophecy foretold. And it's revealing that we are nearing the end of this age and the appearance of Lord Jesus Christ for his church. Thank you for being a part of this last day's church community here on this ministry channel of Signs of the Last Days. And thanks to all of you who are supporting this Signs of the Last Days ministry with your prayers and with your offerings. It is you praying and you giving that supports this ministry to be here and to continue. As we are here watching with you and praying with you, as the signs of the last day's prophecies are revealing, we're nearing the appearance of Lord Jesus Christ for his church. And it's time to prepare and get ready now. There's news. We're a senior advisor to the WEF, Yuval Harari, has called for AI, our artificial intelligence, to write a new Bible that he says will make religion that is actually correct and thereby able to unite the world. And the prophecies of the Revelation describe that in the end time, there will be an artificial intelligence created by man that will become the religion of the world, leading the world into worship of the Antichrist. Or, if they do not follow, they will be killed. Yuval Harari is a homosexual Buddhist that is a professor of history at the Hebrew University of Jerusalem in Israel. He is a member of the Globalist World Economic Forum, or WEF, and a senior advisor to the WEF and its chairman, Klaus Schwab. The WEF has become the world network for the globalist power elite of the world. It's known for its annual conferences that it holds in Davos, Switzerland, which brings together hundreds of political leaders and business leaders from around the world to discuss international issues where they want to implement a great reset of the world according to their worldviews. And Harari, as a senior advisor to the WEF, is a humanist philosopher who is anti-God and anti-Bible, who thinks that the Holy Bible scriptures are just a storybook of fables and not the inspired word of the eternal God. Harari has expressed his disdain for the Holy Bible scriptures before. It's been reported that he has said that science is replacing evolution by natural selection with evolution by intelligent design. He said not the intelligent design of some God above the clouds, but our intelligent design. The intelligent design of our clouds, the IBM cloud, the Microsoft cloud. He said these are the new driving forces of evolution. He went on to say that now humans are developing even bigger powers than ever before. He said we are really acquiring divine powers of creation and destruction. We are really upgrading humans, he said, into gods. We are acquiring, for instance, the power to re-engineer life. And he said, fake News has been with us for thousands of years. Just think of the Bible. All these stories, he said, about Jesus rising from the dead and being the Son of God, that is fake news. And the globalists at the WEF are represented by people like Harari as they seek to dismantle what they perceive as the antiquated Holy Bible in favor of what they view as their more progressive and inclusive ideas. And Harari, speaking at a recent forum, described how that there could be a new religion whose holy book is written by AI, 
by artificial intelligence, where he said that this technology of man could now create a religion that he said is actually correct. He said this is because AI is a new technology that can create a new idea and thereby transform humanity. He said the printing press, then later the radio, television, that they spread the ideas created by the human mind, but he said that they could not create a new idea. And he said for thousands of years, prophets and poets and politicians have used language and storytelling in order to manipulate and to control people and to reshape society. And he said that now AI is able to do this. To where he said AI is able to create and write a new book of commandments for humanity written by a non-human entity. He said contrary to what some conspiracy theories assume. He said you don't really need to implant chips in people's brains in order to control them or to manipulate them. He said AI is able to do it. And once it can, he said it doesn't need to send killer robots to shoot us humans. He said AI can just get humans to pull the trigger if you don't follow the rules. It has also been reported of Harari saying that we just don't need the vast majority of the population. He said that the majority of people have now become redundant. He said with technology, making it possible to replace the people who will become of little use to the global elite in the future. This is the senior advisor to the WEF that said these things. And this is a disturbing vision of the future of humanity by Harari, of an AI-generated religion that is used as a form of control over humanity, enforcing a one-world religion, thereby uniting the world and terminating anyone who does not agree with it. And it's amazing how that this is so very close to what the prophecies of the Revelation in chapter 13 describe, that in the end time, there will be an artificial intelligence created by man and the evil one that will be made the religion of the world, that will lead the world in worship of the image of the beast, the Antichrist. And those who will not follow the world religion are terminated as they will be killed. As this religion with artificial life and intelligence given to it by man and evil will force worship of a man, coupling it together with world economic policy and technology, such as that already supported and fostered today by the WEF, which all of it will be used to unite the world kingdom to the man, the beast, the Antichrist, in the end time. And now, here we have the WEF with its senior advisor saying that artificial intelligence, or AI, can write a new Bible that is correct, they say, for humanity. But who has created and educated artificial intelligence? AI has been formed and informed by the liberal globalists and techno elites, by the same big tech companies that have been restricting and banning people for teaching what the real Bible of the real Jesus and his real apostles actually say in their, their Holy Bible scriptures, restricting it because they don't like it, they despise it. So now they and those like them have come upon the idea of let's just have our AI, we have created to write a new Bible 
according to our information that we have given it, producing a religion that is perfect for us. But this AI will be used for evil, according to the prophecies. Artificial intelligence, in a way, is a reflection or image of humanity. And that artificial intelligence is informed by all the information which people have put on the internet through the search engines and browsers and websites. AI is trained by the technology elites who are liberal globalists, the ones that are in the WEF, with the information from the internet training their AI, which information on the internet has already demonstrated the power to influence people, certainly influencing them away from the true living God of the Holy Bible scriptures. And now they want to exponentially expand that power of influence with AI that interacts with and talks to people. And this is already happening where there are AI chat bots on the internet where people can go to them and talk to them. Like as if this AI is some kind of high priest of life who can impart to them knowledge and advice, telling them how to better live their life. This is already happening. Where people online are asking these AI chatbots for advice on the relationships in their life as to who they should be with or not be with, asking for guidance on dating, and also asking questions on morality and religion about what should I believe, what should I do or not do, with no regard being given for the teaching of the real Holy Bible Scriptures. But this untethering to the Holy Bible Scriptures has been going on for some time to where there are no boundaries, not anymore, with no loyalty or faithfulness to all the Holy Bible Scriptures of Lord Jesus and His Apostles. The Roman Church began going outside of the boundaries of the Holy Bible centuries ago with their papal magisterium, which is the teaching of the Pope, not found in the Bible, but which they say, since it's from the Pope, that it is divine and equal to the Bible. And the Roman Church daughter denominations that came out of her, they have the same spirit of, unfaith of unfaithfulness to what Jesus and his apostles actually said in the Holy Bible. And there are other various groups who have also been working on rewriting the Bible into what some of them call their version or their translation or their edition. And some just gave it a new name altogether, like where one group called it The Voice. And so why not? Why not propose that the techno-god of AI could write another new Bible? Perhaps they will call it the NBAI, or the New Bible by AI, that they say will be correct, since it will be their Bible which aligns with their globalist ideas and can influence humanity to a one-world global religion. But no Bible, just written by man, or written by technology created by man, will save anyone. The words of man or the words of the technology of man do not have the power to regenerate humanity. Only Lord Jesus Christ was God manifest in the flesh. Only Lord Jesus Christ was sinless without fault. Only Lord Jesus Christ miraculously rose from the dead and ascended into heaven. Only in believing and obeying the words of Jesus Christ and his chosen apostles can people be transformed, born again, regenerated into the eternal kingdom of God. 
No AI Bible from man can do that. Only the words of Jesus Christ are eternal life that can bring one into the life of his eternal kingdom. There is life in the breath of the word of God. As we see in the Genesis, God created man in his image and breathed the breath of life into him and man became an eternal living soul. But the revelation describes that in the end time of man, that the image of Satan's servant, the son of perdition, will be made by the hands of men, where in the end time, the beast's image will be given breath by the false prophet of world religion to where it can speak. But this artificial imitation will not give life, but it will take life. as an evil terminator causing people to either worship the image of the beast or be killed. The words of Jesus Christ, who is the image of the invisible God, are eternal life to those who believe and obey. But the words of the image of the Antichrist in Revelation will be death to those who do not obey in his evil kingdom. These events and conditions that we're describing that are happening now in the world are connecting directly to the end time as warning signs pointing to the nearing fulfillment of the last day's prophecies at the end of this age, which are revealing that it's time to prepare now. For the nearing appearance of Lord Jesus Christ for his church. By obeying the life-giving words of the commandment of Lord Jesus Christ in John chapter 3, verse 3 and in verse 5, where Lord Jesus said that unless you're born again, you cannot see the kingdom of God. And he said that you must be born again of water and spirit, or one cannot enter the kingdom of Jesus. And Lord Jesus sanctioned only his chosen apostle in the Holy Bible to tell us how to be born again. That's described in Matthew chapter 16 verses 18 through 19 where the Lord Jesus gave his apostle the keys to the kingdom of heaven. With the Lord Jesus authorizing his chosen and sanctioned apostle with the authority to tell us how to enter in through the door of Christ into his kingdom. And Lord Jesus said that the preaching of this apostle was bound or recorded in heaven, which is eternal for his church. And in the Acts of the Apostles' preaching, in Acts the second chapter, when the Lord Jesus started his church, they described how to be born again of water and spirit, as Lord Jesus commanded we must, where they said for every one of you to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins, and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Spirit, the water and the Spirit. And the apostles of the Lord Jesus preached this message of the gospel, the life-giving gospel of Jesus Christ in Acts chapter 2 when the Lord Jesus started his church, but also in Acts chapter 8 and in Acts chapter 10 and in Acts chapter 19 as the Lord Jesus spread this life-giving gospel message of being born again through Jesus Christ, through the Jews, through the Samaritans, through the Gentiles, and through the Gentile nations. And it's time now to believe and obey the commandment of the Lord Jesus Christ, to prepare for the nearing appearance of Lord Jesus by actually going back to what Lord Jesus and his apostles actually preached in the Holy Bible. Beware. The additions, the new translations, the new Bibles, all of this, none of it can save you. Only the words of Jesus Christ and his chosen apostles What's actually written in the Holy Bible Scriptures, only that has the power 
of salvation in it for eternity. It's time to get ready now. The signs show that the end time is nearing, that the appearance of Lord Jesus Christ for his church is nearing. Get ready with us now. Please be looking for our next Watch and Pray live stream as our Watch and, Lee, Watch and Pray live stream on Sunday evenings where we plan then to share more signs of the last day's prophecies. Please subscribe to and follow this channel. Click the bell to get all notifications for our live streams and videos. Amazing signs are happening now in world e events. And it's warning the world to be saved by the power of the words of the Lord Jesus Christ. And it's warning the biblical believers of Lord Jesus to be looking up. For as Lord Jesus said, the signs show that our redemption is drawing near. Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Sean.